Hi, it's Rich. Another video tonight, another thought. What does it mean to be Christ-like? How many different ways can you look at a situation and think about what it means to be Christ-like? I mean, it's real easy to think that all we have to do is forgive people, and that's being Christ-like. Hmm. Well, Jesus only did what he saw his Father do, or what his Father's will was. Not my will as the Son of God. Thy will be done. How many of us do that? God, show me your will. Help me obey it. I mean, there's lots of things in the Bible. The New Covenant. The New Testament. Love God first and foremost with all your heart. The second is like unto it. Love your neighbor as yourself. Okay? In marriage, there's specific roles for a husband and for a wife. Do we live that way? Do we obey God's instructions? Submit one to another. Christ is the head of the the man, the man is the head of the wife, equal in God's eyes, but different specific roles. One is called to respect or honor the husband. The husband is called to lay down his life sacrificially for his wife. Do we do that? And if we do, what is our motive? Is our heart right? Do we do it for what we get out of marriage? Or do we do it because of love? Or do we do it because of obedience to God, living by his word? Or do we do something other than what God says? Do we, as a husband and wife, stay committed to each other in our marriage? As a foundation for our family, to build upon the foundation we already have of Christ. Do we hold our children to the same standards that the Bible shows, that they are to honor their father and mother and the Lord, and so many other things? If we say we're Christians and we don't live according to what God says in the Bible, are we really Christians? Are we really Christians? I believe the Bible says that if we are, we will obey His commands. We will live the way He instructs us to, like the, like the disciples did. Jesus was crucified, buried. And what He told them to do when they scattered was to Go and wait in an upper room. These are my commands. These are my instructions. Those that do his will received power from on high, the Holy Spirit, to come upon them and dwell in them. Those who didn't, didn't receive. So who are we? Are we an obedient Servant, a disciple of Christ. Are we doing our Heavenly Father's will and purpose? His will be done through our lives. Are we? It's not for me to point out to my brother or sister without them asking me to help them see clearly. Because if they do, I think I should start with this. Well, before I help you with what may be in your eye, 
Would you please examine me to see if there's anything in my eye? Brother to brother, love in Christ. Sister to sister, brother to sister, sister to brother. Those in Christ seeking to help each other, but with permission. If your brother or sister in Christ comes to you and asks for your help, An example would be, brother, I'm struggling. I have this going on in my life. and Would you help me to understand why I'm struggling? Because I'm in the middle of it, and I can't see what my issue is. Would you pray with me and for me? And help me so I can overcome this and be free in Jesus' name. I hope this is encouragement for those who are living in crisis. If you look at your life and you're like, why is my life always in crisis? Well, maybe the way we're living is the cause of the storms in our life. Maybe God is trying to break your hardened heart into pieces so he can reshape it, can remove the hardness from our hearts. So once he reshapes our vessel, he can pour his living water inside to overflowing. And then we give what God has given us to others who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for deliverance, for salvation, for freedom from bondage and strongholds. How will you help others? By showing them God's love. By doing what's in their best interest. According to God, not according to them. And not according to me. If I'm struggling, if I have areas in my life where I am in bondage, like Saul, I most likely cannot see it my pride or my ego get in the way. Lord, I hope and pray that you will help us to change the way we live. Not us leading you where you have to leave the 99 behind to go chase down and go after the one lost stray sheep to return them to the flock. I hope and pray that we will listen, hear your voice, and return to you so you don't have to leave anybody behind and so that we won't be left behind either. Good night.